Coco. Um, yeah, let's continue where we were, uh, stopped last time. Um, I'm trying to create uh, this 3D wireframe in uh, Nano with Rust. And uh, it's based on this uh, tutorial I followed a while back. And uh, it really shows you how to create a 3D wireframe that you can navigate uh, based on a 2D canvas. And it starts very easily with creating a, uh, a crosshair and then get all the structures in place. Uh, I can show you how it works. gaming platform uh, for Bevy, but um, I think that's a bit too difficult for me at this moment. Um, I already got some things going with Nanu, so I think it's a good way to pick this up. So, let's example. This is the code, this is not the code. find the code I'm writing over here.
So, chat back where it belongs. So last time I was started uh, to get a bit of uh, structure going for a nano sketch, and a nano sketch uh, basically uh, is a very simple, uh, very simple main loop that's basically called a nano method, and from that you have an uh, app which has a model which is all the persistent data and then all the events are run that's everything that comes along as user input or other uh, sensors and finally we also have a view and that draws everything that needs to be there unfortunately i uh, hit a snack last time with the cube because uh, that has certain structure that we'll look in later and I couldn't compile it so I wrote an example Rust um, um, file that, that creates a cube with, um, with all the positions and the wires that the cube exists out of. Um, so the idea is to get that example to get this example which defines all the positions and the wires and to uh, create a cube as we initialize that method. Um, yeah, well, uh, processing this goes a lot easier just to find a uh, a file within your sketch, not that one. This is the cube again. So that makes it really easy because you instantiate a new class with uh, enough wires and then you just fill up all the wires and that tells you how, uh, how it looks. Um, but with Rust that's a bit more difficult as you can see in the example. So you can create a struct with 12 wires and the wires need to have a default value filled in so that it allocates enough memory to do everything and if you don't define a default then uh, your code won't compile so that's why you want to do that. Um, and then the idea is to uh, just create Yeah, then just create a new position and based on the size over here the idea is to uh, create all those wires at the correct positions and another thing is the processing sketch has all this really fancy um, formulas it's a real error prone you don't want this you want something simple uh, and the idea is that you have a matrix that has all the correct pluses and minuses so that's why uh, I 
created a concert with all the wire positions in it and it's a matrix of uh, 12 lines with um, two uh, slices of three positions each so xyz coordinates and a beginning and an end and that makes sure that your code really um, can iterate through all the lines and put it in Okay, we even have viewers here. So basically we need to get the top one over in a, the lower view um, and make sure that everything compiles. This is actually not so important anymore. Okay. Do this full screen. Also think we need to have the, you have the main, the example, and the queue. Okay, so I'm gonna do a vertical split. Typing, um, I have a new keyboard. And, um, yeah, it's a split keyboard with not everything you find, so I'm also a bit struggling and looking for everything. But we'll get there. Um, so, to the main uh, Rust file, top left. Then I'll think to the example lower left and the cube arrest we do on the right side so we can work from left to right. And if my camera is hanging over uh, the source code, I need to move something. We'll get there. Make things already very easy. Can I just go to OBS and move my camera? Of course I can. So this is already very fine, so we can yank that. Toss 
test that out. Uh, actually, this produces a cube. The cube also needs to be part of the main file because that's where it comes from. So we mod you pull it, uh, you read the whole mod a cube RS file, but it's not in local scope. Oh, I don't mind. It's already there. See if everything works. We'll debug print the cube that we just generated, and that also uh, helps us to see if we can port the code. If I run the example, then it really produces the cube that's also um, made in the uh, processing sketch. So I can show you now. Produces the cube from around the zero position but, uh, without with the size of one, and it also shows that a lot of uh, stuff we don't need, but uh, we'll figure that out later.
So our new function creates a default cube. Just like uh, our example file does. I use a different function name for the relative position of a... Yeah.
harvesting because you can't find the wire. main there and we'll just go to the wire. Why? The wire crate doesn't work, and the position one does.
let's just get this going and we'll see uh, how the rest goes. Um, Private function, well it's access, but so just make it public. Now. 
now the main uh, file just need uh, the wire uh, files. Six on the x-axis and size two. So that's easy. Um, you keep there. is of course very type strict so if you want to use uh, floats you have to use floats everywhere so let's do that uh, that position That's, that's the thing. It's already mods all the wire and the position files into um, the main function. And it only needs to have the struct inside the scope in the cube.
understand is that if I do a wire and I derive a default, yes, 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 yes. The danger of VI if you're slowly corrupting your file in uh, small ways and you don't know what happened. On the other hand, you can do very cool stuff with navigating and changing stuff. So, you know, I've been using Vim since 1998. But it was way different back then. Problems that it has then we're getting already a lot closer. Um this one actually works. Was the error again? I think the 
bos is not there. There is no position. That's it. Uh -huh. Yes, beautiful. Oh, yes. Position. Yeah. This is a 
wire.rs over there. Why can't it find the... It can find position. bit frustrated. They would say
is there. That's it. Oh. So I removed wire from the main, from here, from the root, and then it didn't, couldn't find it over here. And now it's also negative about the position. Well, we can fix that. Because we fill the Fields are private. We 
don't need that one, do we? No, we have it over there. Yes, so POS is in the function call and now we get a new position from that one. What this button does. It builds. Oh. oh. <laughs> now let's run it. It actually made the cube. Makes the cube. bit more pretty printing in my uh, example, so I think we need to copy that and then can into get, go into GitHub. Then we have some warnings to fix, but I will just disregard the whole nano thing, so if we activate that, uh, these warnings will also be this example works then the idea is to uh, refactor it so it looks a bit more sane than what we got now so the, the uh, structure for the cube now only has wires and the wires have positions in them uh, if you use more the, the state of the art the positions and then you have to slice with the wires and then the, the wires will refer to positions in the same struct. But that's not for now.
shorthand struck initialization. I no clue what's, what's going on. The cube is not a So 
I did change some things. So it's there, and, uh, on the location I mentioned in the chat, but there was nothing in the chat, so it's still on top. Okay, rust analyzer still thinks this is fine. This function will actually never be used, so I think we'll do it there and allow that code. And over here, we'll, uh, this one we will use. Because once we add the camera, we can start moving across the 3D view. So actually, we are moving lots over there. Yes.
gold. Nee, this is that gold. GitLab, and then I have to round off. For the five people that are watching, already uh, thank you for watching. It uh, was interesting and fun to, to get this all going. That's about it. And uh, thank you everybody um, for watching. Uh, next time. And I think then if I look at the tutorial. Then we get to some interesting stuff. This is really a lot of refactoring to get from go from processing into uh, into rust yeah so here we define the wires in the processing stuff then we get the, the cube. The cube. With a very strange x axis. And then next time it should be possible to get uh, to get a real cube from a single perspective, namely from a pos camera position 0.0.0 .0 activated. So uh, that's about it, and uh, thank you, and see you next time.